Welcome to this edition of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. I'm Ronnie Humphrey, and that's old Buddy Love back behind me. Appreciate you guys joining us today as always. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas and was able to spend some quality time with your family and loved ones. Hope you got everything that you could have ever dreamed about. We were able to get our Christmas present while we wanted. We were able to get this Buick to crank up, and that's a really good thing. But now we're going to do a little extra work today. Buddy decided we're going to try to swap this uh, carburetor off of this Nova, put it on the Buick, and I'm going to start playing around with exhaust. So fast your seat belts, let's get to it. Okay, as I was saying in the intro, this is a 390 CFM carburetor. This is a spec carburetor that you have to run in the current super late model series uh, in most super late model tracks all around the country in most of the touring series. The problem is, obviously, it's a 390 CFM. Well, this is a big old Haas motor. Well, this little Nova over here, we just put a little 602 crate motor in it, but we put a big 750 on it, so we're going to swap these out, and there's no need of having the uh, big carburetor on this little small motor, so the little 390 would be perfect for this little 602, so that's what we're going to do, and we will swap it out real quick, and uh, then I'm going to start playing around with this exhaust as well on the Buick and see what it's gonna to take to get it hooked up. Okay, Buddy has the carburetor swapped off. This is off the little 602. We're gonna see if it'll crank up and run here. Some fuel now. Yeah, yeah, it. Uh, that is healthy. It's got to warm up so we can adjust everything, but it totally different sound. Yeah. Okay, we got the exhaust out now. We're gonna start playing with this. This is gonna be kind of a conglomeration of stuff. We're gonna have to weld an extension on the here, and then I've got to figure out how to make the transition to that. But these boom tubes are gonna make all the difference in the world of how this thing sounds. Um, don't know exactly what we're going to do, but. I know one thing will make it work, so I'm gonna try to get it dummied up here and see what we have to do and how long our extension is going to be on the back of the collectors or the headers. All right, we got the exhaust, the boom tubes kind of dummied in here. The cool thing is when we built that Nova over there, we had a lot of stuff left over. I had this piece left over, that piece there. I've got these slip joints, but right now it's gonna be very simple to do. Um, all we have to do is these will tap in to the boom tubes. Then I'm gonna weld this up solid to the collector on the back of the header. So this will go, then that still gives us our slip joint off the back of the header and it'll come out there. So that'll be our connector pipes. Now, this set of boom tubes came off a car that was a lot wider cause you know, the car started getting a little bit wider for safety reasons. And that's fine. We'll have to trim this off. We'll probably have to cut off four or five inches over here at least. Probably four inches. And, uh, but anyway, I mean, it doesn't matter right now. We, you know, we, we can do that later and then we'll come back and we put all the supports back in it. So, let me start doing a little measuring here and we will get right back with you. About 13 and a half inches on this side. And we'll make it probably 14 on that side. And on this side, go back to that same lip. And we'll look about, about basically about, about 15, about, I'm gonna, we'll make it 16 inches. Hey, like I say, we, we can always cut it off and add it. So we'll make about 16. Okay, what Buddy's doing right now is he's rolling just a small lip so we won't have just a direct butt weld. Um, so we want this in here to slip up in there just a little bit, just get a little more strength versus a shoulder to shoulder weld. And roll that up just a hair. 
Luckily, we imagine we have just enough pipe to be able to do both extensions, so this is not going to be really bad at all. There you go, and that gives a whole lot stronger connection now. We'll come back and weld right there, and it'll be really strong. Okay, we got this piece tacked on here. I measured from the inside lip to here, to right here. Can you see where it was run up? So about 18 and 3 eighths is what we're gonna cut it. So we're gonna cut this first one. That's why we just got it tacked right now so we can uh, make sure it works real well up solid, obviously. Okay, we got our measurement here, 18 and 3 eighths, and we'll just simply go there and just freehand this to connect, play connect the dots. Okay, we got this uh, piece cut. I'm gonna slide this tubing back, the uh, give him some room to slip that one on. Man, it's rock on us. Okay, so let me get this block of wood that fell. Oh. Okay, let, let me tap it forward. Let me get a little. Okay, you ready? Yeah. We were like 18 and three quarters. And I was going to say something right. Uh, that is 19. Oh, that's pretty close. I mean, he's come forward maybe a quarter of an inch. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same process on this. We'll bend the lip, put our collector on, and then we'll come back to, what I say, 21 inches? Yeah. So we'll come back to 21 inches and repeat and tack it, and then pull everything off and weld it. Okay. to see if we can get this next piece in here. I'm going to back this up just a hair. Uh, and I guess we'll probably need to bump it back with a hammer. I may let you, uh, if you'll tap it, I'll hold it so it doesn't fall. That was like getting a root canal. Okay. That looks good right there. Go back against that, so that should be. Let me see if we can tap this in there. Looks like this has got to go up. You want to. Um... Okay. 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 Okay, we uh, got these on there. Obviously, like I said, these are for a lot later style car. Uh, we got a lot of measuring to do here to figure out how we're going to make sure they clear. We still clear tire. All this is going to be cut back. But we want to try to see just for the fun of it what it sounds like and give you a little taste of that. So we're going to hit our master switch back on. And let's see what this puppy sounds like. I think it will be totally different.
Yeah, it sounds totally different. All right, we're gonna put a tire on back here and we're going, that kind of give us a rough idea of what we need to clear because we're not sure how far the body's gonna come out. But I can tell you already, we're gonna have a real weird situation right here. So let's get a tire put on and see what we got. We borrowed a tire and wheel off old Dale Jr. there to put on the car. And we're trying to just rough out where we think the body's gonna fall. And it's not going to be as bad as what we thought, just roughly measuring off this piece back here in the back and coming forward and adding just roughly weight. We've got it figured right now that this would be, that this is on the line the tire zone, okay? And we can roll that body out. And if we roll it out, we think we're going to be okay with what we have because uh, it looks like the body, the wheel well, it's going to come about right here the fender so pretty much it, it looks what makes it look so crazy because there's no body on it. it looks like it's extremely long but we will have to probably cut to this line here but the good news is we have enough to work with we can shorten it up if we have to move it we can move it forward but right now we're going to go in bills a couple temporary mounts and just uh tap it or tag it somewhere um off the frame so then that'll have that situated and located good enough right now the way it is. Okay, we're pretty happy now where everything is. Um, we think we're gonna clear the body out there okay. And the good thing is, even if we have to make some adjustments because where the body falls in the car, we can actually shorten these up and come forward probably another good inch, inch and a half. So that'll be easy to do. So right now we're gonna go ahead and install our tabs and make our hangers. And we're gonna put two up here midway up in that area there. And of course we'll put some back there in the back. Okay, the exhaust hangers are pretty straightforward. Just using some one inch strap and then attaching it to the frame. Buddy's already got one done on that side and uh, get my camera up here. I'm doing one on this side. My bolt stay still. And uh, then just simply take it and wrap it around. So I'm gonna start bending this now. And uh, we'll just wrap it around the header and weld it there. And that'll have it pretty straightforward. Okay, here's what we ended up with. They are just obviously held in by wing nut, but uh, weld those both of those up and uh, that'll have the exhaust in pretty good shape. And we'll still have to put the hanger back here in the back, but this will be our midpoint hanger. Okay, I like using these tabs and I've got some extras left over some other projects and we're gonna put these wherever there's a slip joint and that way it won't be an issue. Okay, you can see we have the Hangers just tacked on. We've got our tabs there welded on the header onto the collector. Same thing on this side. Looks real nice. So we have to put two more tabs right on back here on that side. Now be the slip on tabs there, then we'll make a hanging tab for up here, and then that'll have it. Looks pretty sweet. Well, that wraps up another busy episode. Man, it was cool getting here in this car with the exhaust all the way backing. Then we'll boot tubes make a whole different sound and you can really hear the throatiness of this motor and getting the carburetor swapped out uh, was really a good thing. And the, the little 390 just was not putting enough fuel in there. And this carburetor absolutely changed the sound of the motor. It's pretty cool. Appreciate you guys watching. We got the exhaust pretty much at a good stopping point. We can't go any further till we get the body hung, till we determine how much it needs to stick out on this side, on the exit out here on the right rear. So we're gonna hold off on that, but we've got all of our tab zone and everything's just spot welded right now, and that'll be fine. Hey, have a good rest of your day. And we will see you next time on race car fabrication and restoration. God bless you. Take care.